chilling with AMP on Pass the Mic. Pass that mic. Pass the mic. Pass the mic. Pass the mic. AMP. AMP. AMP established 1999, but before that, we've been doing stuff for a long time. This guy got introduced to rap music when he was like 11 or something, and at that time, even younger, even younger. yeah, really young, actually, really young. But around when I was like a teenager, there was a all ages jams Paramount. I used to DJ there. Me and um, this other dude, Mad Child, we used to have a group. We opened for Maestro Fresh West down there. We rocked with EQ back in the day. We did jams at 12th and Commercial. This is like some back in the day where that was the only place where there was hip hop. That in the Warehouse Club, but I was underage. Now, there's hip hop nights all the time, like three in one night, actually. And I'm on the radio on the Beat 94.5, which started out hip hop. Now it's like um, pop, not pop, but uh, top 40, I should say, which includes pop, which still includes hip hop, but AMP, came out of a need to express, um, you know, ourselves. ourselves, man, like. And it just so happened to be hip hop, you know? It's the music that we love and what we love to do. So we're just doing it just to stay happy because, man, working a nine to five job, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a big struggle, man. It's not the life for us, not at all. And I've been, and I, I've been doing mixtapes since I could remember, stealing them from Save On Foods, getting caught. <laughs> Stealing uh, blank Maxell tapes and getting caught actually, and uh, now we're you know we're doing shows A and P and me and me and my cousin Venom, we've been rapping together like I said since literally since we were like kids. So Zach was responsible for the first ever underground hip hop night here called Your Mamas. He was the promoter of that, and he started that at the Twilight Zone, and he had Kilo C DJ and J Swing, and that was the start of kind of J Swing's DJ career. Kilo C was already kind of established but that was the beginning of Jay Swing so everything ties together man now Zach is with us in our group he not only does he DJ but he's a successful actor too so he gets us out there on shows and stuff he's always looking out for AMP and uh, Venom holding it down as always lyrically anywhere you know and we all just self-managed self-produced I mean we get beats from outside sources and stuff but as far as the song production and everything all the concepts and stuff of course it's hip-hop man we do it ourselves it's like FUBU, for us, by us. A and P through either me, him, or Zach, we're some way connected to everybody in this city. And I feel like our music kind of reflects that. And we are, you know, like, we... We've been around a long time. We've been around for a minute. I've been involved in all types of groups and stuff, DJing for Checkmate. We're getting old, you know? Yeah, but uh, we're getting old, but we're getting, we're getting experienced and known. And when we do our beats it's some, and we do our music, it's some serious So you're watching Pass the Mic, chilling with the AMP. Flip Out's going to give you a little perspective on the game, how to come up right and stuff yeah. like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's like the renaissance man of the Vancouver hip-hop scene, for real. <laughs> Verbal Venom right here, shout out to Zach Santiago who is not present but he lives around the corner in case you're wondering where he lives. Anyway, uh, Pass the Mic came up, local hip hop show, incredible, don't have to, you know, send my 30, what is it, it I think it's $30.62 to send a FedEx package to Toronto, because I've done it, or, or sixteen forty-five to send just a CD. I've done it very many times, either to send our video out, either to send stuff for grants, either to send just to get play on the radio, sending records out. Man, having something in Vancouver is uh, very important, and I'm, I'm glad that we're on past the mic. And uh, you're going to see our video, Amp Army, which we made ourselves, well, we uh, financed ourselves, we didn't make it ourselves. We had the producing cats, uh, famous kids, who are now defunct, I do believe, but shouts out to Christian. Shouts out to Joe and Marvin as well, and everybody that helped on that. And Bishop, who was in the video as well, who actually played a, a good role in getting our, getting our stuff played on Much Music because they kind of knew him. And they know him because he lives around the block for Much Music, and he can go there every day.